It's a windy day in Las Cruces and here we are at Tent City. That's right, and we're blowing in with a paddy wagon to feed some people. Truck's leaving! All right, let's go! Well, we're going to cook dinner for the folks that live at Tent City. It's the first opportunity I've had to give back. Woohoo, we're here! <laughs> well, I went to graduate school in, in New Orleans and I learned how quickly people can become homeless, whereas the day before they had everything. Hi guys! Oh, my word! <laughs> you guys hungry? I sat here for about an hour. I lost 40 pounds. Let's oh, put it man. back on Time then. to gain some weight then. <laughs> we brought the food truck. So all you have to do is have an appetite and dinner's on us tonight. Everybody grab some good food. Come and get it, folks. Come on and get it. <laughs> Time to guys. eat, yeah. Steven, you got some good luck here. <laughs> Uh, when we first started it, uh, the city had decided that winter that they were going to start enforcing their no camping ban on city property. A group of us approached city council and asked them if we could just camp here for the winter, which they said was okay for the first 90 days. We started housing people. Uh, we saw that 911 calls were dropping. All the other agencies could see that too, so they climbed on board. And then the third time we went to city council, they said, well, the camp is a success. It's helping a lot of people. We want it to stay. I've been here uh, about about a month and a week now. Okay. That's not very long then. It's not long. What's the longest people stay here? Six or seven months. All the labor, all the materials for these things, that is all donated by different groups in Las Cruces. What's the city of Las Cruces is doing for, for the homeless out here right now? They're, they're doing a real good job. And I'm actually proud of Las Cruces for doing it. The way a lot of us live nowadays, we're all just one paycheck from being without a home. We're just more fortunate than others. We take the judgment out of it. We've all made mistakes. We've all made bad choices. We just need to take care of each other. Thank you all for coming out. As yeah, well, well thank, thank you. Thank you for letting, open in, opening up your houses to us, you know? Yeah, yeah. feel free, right. it's okay. good. And you know, it's not just that people come and give food to them. Um, you know, the other families and the churches that come out here, they bring their whole families out and they spend hours just hanging out with the homeless and talking to them and listening to their stories. And so it's not just the food, it's the sense of community that people bring out.